Have you ever wanted to add a real time time clock to your photography time lapse or night lapse videos? Well, of course you have. The problem with that is, is once you make the time lapse movie in your editing software, and in this case I have PowerDirector 15, when you use the uh, time code function, it reads your frames per second to set the time after you've entered the parameter of what time you want it to start, say at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock p.m. or whatever. It'll read the length of the clip. Your time lapse clip might be only a minute long. Well, in that case, the time clock is only going to show one minute has elapsed instead of the hours that really have. In the YouTube description of this tutorial, you will find a link to the playlist that I created that contains the 24 hour clock at 100 times speed and this tutorial. Use your downloader program of choice and download the 24 hour time lapse clock at 100 speed in the link below. Okay, let's add a real time clock to your time lapse or night lapse. Uh, photography. First thing you do, open up your editor, in this case it's PowerDirector, bring in the 24 hour time clock at 100 times speed. Okay, you know that your time lapse starts, we'll say, at, okay, let's say it's 2 o'clock in the morning, okay, 2 o'clock in the morning you're looking for. Scrub it forward till you get to about 2 o'clock. Okay, 2 o'clock in the morning. The clip is highlighted, split it, remove and fill gap, and you know that your uh, time lapse ends, say, at 6 a.m. Oh, there it is, 6 a.m. Highlight the clip, split it, remove. Okay, there is your live, real-time camera for your time-lapse at the precise time that started and finished. Okay, save that as a movie. 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, open a new project and bring in your time-lapse movie that you've made through the time-lapse uh, options here on your software, this is PowerDirector 15. You might find sometimes when you have your camera settings up to a certain point that either beginning or at the end of your uh, time-lapse time, uh, it's either way too dark or way too light depending on the settings of your camera. And in this case here, near the end of mine, it gets a little washed out. Okay, but I know it ends at six o'clock and I know it starts at 2 a.m. That's not the real time on this, I'm just using that as an example. Okay, so when you make your time-lapse movie, if you're like me, if you have any of that that's washed out or too dark, you would edit that out and then jump through the hoops to make your uh, time lapse. Leave those in because you know what the start time is and the end time is. Okay, so you have that movie up here in your uh, timeline. Bring in your customized 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. clock movie and there it is. Now you're going to want to match this up to that before you trim out that washed out area that I have on the backside that'll keep the time all current and relevant. The time lapse movie here is 33 seconds long, and then my clock movie is 2 minutes and 24 seconds long, so we need to speed that up and, and get that into uh, comparison with the other movie. So, what do we have here? We have the time lapse movie is 33 seconds and 6 frame rate. Okay, so highlight on your time clock movie. We're going to want to remember that. 3306. Tools, power tools, video speed, speed adjustment. Okay, we're going to, well, it's 3306 was that, uh, that number. Okay, here's the video length, the new video length duration. 00, 33, 0. Six. And there it is. Okay. Now we need to uh, work on the chroma key here so we see just this and not the black. Uh, chroma key, it's black by default. Okie dokie. All right. So 
we back this up here. Here we go. I'm going to let this roll forward until I get to that washed out area that I want to end. It's getting there, it's getting there, kind of getting a little brighter. 430, how about right there? Well, let's back up to 430. That's good enough. We'll go forward one more. Okay, we're going we're gonna to cut that at 430. Okay, over here you got your, uh, your line here on your timeline. You can even see it in the thumbnails. Don't highlight either one of these clips because you want to get rid of both of them. Hit the split. They split. Remove. And remove. Now we have the time lapse that we originally wanted to with a live time, real time clock on it. Back it all up and here we go. Okay. The numbers here, double click on that and that opens up the picture in a picture window or you can highlight it, designer, PIP designer, either way gets you there. Okay, say I want to shrink this down a little bit in size, it's a little bit large there. Come over here to scale, maintain aspect ratio is checked and now you can shrink it down or even enlarge it. I'm going to shrink it down until it does about like that. And then I want it up in the upper right hand corner. Move it over here. Right there. Okay. Now there's our timer, smaller sized, up in the upper right hand corner. Okay, now say you wanted to add a little time speed ramping up on the actual clip itself. Highlight it, tools, power tools, video speed, adjustment. We're going to go to 1.5. Okay, but now the clock's off it. So again, we find out what time that is. That's 1318 now on that speed adjustment up here to the video duration 13 19 okay snaps right down to the proper time Well, that's how you add a real-time clock to your uh, time-lapse or night-lapse, guys. I kind of like it. I don't put it in there every time, but it is kind of nice to have that as a reference.